Hey YouTube, I am back to further talk about situations that are happening. This has to do with McDonald's. I'm in McDonald's the other day. I live in Atlanta, by the way. And I'm at the McDonald's in Fairburn, which is at Campbellton Fairburn Road. It's new. And it actually happens to be sister owned, so I'm proud of that McDonald's. But we're in there. The line is long at the drive through It's like 15 to 20 cars at the drive through So, we decide to go in, because surely we'll get done quicker inside than the drive through It's about two orders in front of us. Simple order. Um, my boyfriend ordered double cheeseburger, fries, parfait. I got the grilled chicken wrap, chipotle wrap thing, and um, a parfait in bottled water. Simple order. So, about five minutes into waiting, I'm noticed that the two people in front of me are still waiting. We're waiting. And now the lobby is full and there are all these orders. And the drive through about ten minutes into our wait, is clear. Like 15 to 20 cars gone. So I'm like, what is the problem? So I asked the lady who asked for the manager. And her name is Fatima. Let me just say that I'm saying it like that because she said it like that. Not trying to call her out. Not tr nothing about her attitude or the way she acts or stereotype her. But that's the way she said it. My name is Fatima and I'm the only person here. And I'm working as fast as I can. And you can call, email, write anybody you want to. <laughs> Which is cool because I will do that. I don't believe in going to a place, getting bad service and not following up, talking to somebody. A lot of people let stuff go, and I think that's why we continue to get bad customer service in America. Because people let a lot of stuff go, forget about it, you know, even if they never go back, you still haven't said what needs to be said to let people know why you aren't going. But, I'm that person. So, I'm like, well, we've been waiting, and the drive through is clear. There was approximately 15 to 20 cars in the drive through before we came in, and they're gone. So if you are the other person here, you got that drive through out the way. So what's the problem with the lobby? And why isn't there a connection with the employees to get both done? So she's fussing and hollering with her finger waves. Still not trying to stereotype the sister. She put her own self on blast. Talking about my name for Tima. You can call whoever you want to and I'm the manager. At McDonald's? This is customer service at McDonald's? So she proceeded to keep telling me I could do that. So I did that. By the way... I'm never going back to McDonald's at Campbellton Fairburn in Georgia ever again. The new McDonald's on 92, just so you know. And just so you know, in case you go and ask for Fatima and tell her that I'm blasting her, putting her own blast on YouTube so that she since that was her name and she didn't care who I told. I'm telling YouTube. So everybody will know. So I emailed McDonald's. The owner, I think it was the owner, I think she said she was the owner, called me back today. She may have been like the top manager, but I'm thinking she was the owner. I could be wrong. And, of course, she was apologetic, and I explained to her that I have a business, too, which I do. When I do my videos, I'm mostly here at my store. I have a boutique in Georgia. And if I ever had an employee talk to a customer that way and I got an inkling of it, you'd be gone. In this economy, with gas as high as it is and people having choices, People don't have to come to you. People are very wise now about their dollar, especially with the economy. So I know I'm not the only game in town. I would never allow for an employee to be there. I wouldn't care talking to people crazy. I wouldn't care if it was my mama, my sister, whoever. Best friend, buddy, god sister, cousin, whoever. You be gone. Like, I, I just couldn't even deal with that. So then, the owner, manager, person, whoever she was, says to me, my phone's ringing. She says to me, well, you know, if you have employees, you know, you never know how they're talking to people. The point is, I may not know, but if I know, if somebody tells me, I'm taking action. But anyway, she was very apologetic. I appreciate the fact that she even called and followed up from the email that I did on the McDonald's corporate site. And I'm saying all this to say that we have to follow through <laughs> with our customer service grievances with these companies. They're not the only games in town. We can go other places. It's not the 50s or 60s where there was one, only one 
corner store, only one hairstylist, one dentist, one doctor. You can go where you want to go. And when you get bad customer service, you got to follow it up. I don't care who they are, color, nothing. White folks, black folks, Asians, whoever. They need to be reported. So, that's my rant for today. I'm still cool. Life does exactly <laughs> go on. Uh, there are more things, but this is just what I'm um, blogging about today. So, take heed to McDonald's <laughs> in Fairburn, Georgia, at Campbellton Fairburn on Highway 92, right outside of Atlanta. Fatima is the manager there. So, heed the warning before you go in, because she is a nasty piece of work, and I don't think she's probably going anywhere. But, that's too bad for them, because I know I'm not going back. Anyway, thanks for listening. Post your comments. You've had an experience like that. Tell me about it. Do a, a blog about it, too. We need to put these companies on blast with these horrendous employees. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.